Who are Mark your Dragon, also known as Marcus Eikenberry in real life, and this is another episode in uh, building your own PC. So we've got the case here. I just installed the motherboard in the last episode. Really, I should say mounted the motherboard. Uh, we haven't plugged anything into it yet. Uh, I did, uh, in the last episode, talk about this back panel that, um, that I put in and got everything to line up here. Uh, it's looking pretty spiffy. That panel came with the motherboard. It's not part of the case. And now we're going to uh, put in the power supply, which is a really relatively simple thing in the fact that, that it just has four screws uh, typically. But um, this uh, power supply is the biggest power supply I've ever put into any machine. And uh, it's 1,200 watts. And let's see here, I have not, uh, this is an Antec, um, it's the same as the case maker, and uh, it's rated for, you know, all this high function stuff. Um, I haven't even opened this up yet to look at it. Uh, it looks like I got a shitload of cables. Um, look at this, oh yeah, look at that, alright. That is a lot of cables right there. And then uh, I got a lot more cables right here and a lot more cables right here. This is awesome. This is like Christmas. Okay, and wow, that is a beefy power cord. You know, I think that with as much power as it's going to be drawing, uh, I'm going to have to check my UPSs to make sure that uh, they'll provide enough power to this thing. Um, this thing can be a monster with this power supply. So, uh, let's see, black screws uh, for installing that, and um, this is coming in, look at that, it's got a case to protect it, that's pretty cool. So, okay, uh, we're going to unpackage it here. This is high end, you don't see this in your cheap uh, stuff, but, uh, okay, look at that. So. This is um, a high-end, high-end one, wow. This is, uh, uh, got all kinds of extra connectors here and everything. I'm excited about this, this looks really nice. So, okay, we're gonna leave all of this uh, bundled up for the moment. What we're gonna do is we're gonna actually get this attached to the case uh, so that um, we can then probably in another episode, figure out what everything is. It looks like everything's labeled in here. And this is, um, this probably has labels on it too. Um, no, yes, they do have some labels on them. So uh, anyway, we're probably not gonna use every single one of these cables, but uh, we're gonna use several. So <clears throat> the power supply, uh, it quite simply is uh, just fits in the back here and and uh, I just got to figure out which way okay let's see here well these will tell so there's a pattern on the back here and, and maybe I should move this around so you can see this um, there's a pattern that is on the back here for uh, the screw holes and so it's it's like here 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 and we're gonna figure this out so um, basically it's either gonna go this way or it's gonna go this way one of the two not sure yet which but I'm just gonna put it in here and get this cable out of the way and so, yeah, out of the way again. This is what I was talking about, about trying to keep these cables out of the way when I was uh, in the last episode for, for the motherboard and everything. They're just uh, in the way. Hopefully, this has power connectors for all of these uh, little, little things in here. Okay, so now I'm just placing it up flush up in here setting on, it's, it's setting on these other things. A lot of cases have this little lip which keeps it from going up too high. Uh, and, and then on the back of it here, all the screw holes are lining up. So 
let's screw this puppy in. Now this came with some screws. Ugh. We use those. It's the same thing as your case screws typically, uh, but uh, it came with these, so I will uh, use them. And okay. So simple as this. Not too difficult at all. You know, it's interesting that there's a screw hole up here. In another episode, I talked about the torque on this. I've got it set just right for screwing stuff in here without overdriving it to strip stuff out. So I can do it all the way until it's tight, till it clicks. Without really having fear of um, stripping them out. So, okay, that is in. Now, let's uh, look at this some more here. The, uh, there's going to be a couple of things on this which are important. Uh, and there are, uh, in some cases, connectors that look exactly the same but are different. It's kind of rare, but it can happen. And uh, I don't know with this um, version whether or not that'll happen here, but um, I just want to make sure that I'm not seeing uh, any of that. So, okay. And it uh, looks fine. Now, um, so right here is the main one to the motherboard and uh, it is going to, um, where is the plug-in for it? Oh, it's all the way up here. So, uh, given the proximity of this right here to this, I might end up moving this down here uh, and just having the hard drives down low down here. Not sure yet. So, we'll kind of see how things play out and maybe move things around as necessary. Um, so, uh, anyway, we are well on our way. Uh, I feel like uh, we're going to be uh, uh, installing uh, probably... Well, we're going to install a lot of these connectors, and then and i got to install the CPU as well. So, uh, and one thing I forgot to mention on all the parts, CPU paste, right here, uh, I got uh, Arctic Silver, and um, this is a little bit more expensive, but it's good stuff, and um, so we're only going to need that for the CPU, so this will be more than enough. And uh, that is it for this episode. Join us uh, for the next one, where I think we'll be installing the CPU. We'll see. I'll think about it before uh, I actually film the next episode. So, I'm Rocky Dragon. Take care. If you made it this far in the video, you may as well subscribe. That's what I want you to do. You obviously liked it well enough to watch it this far. So look at this. This is Frostmorn. This is a Runes of Magic Sword. This Runes of Magic Sword is one that we're giving away as second prize to one of you subscribers just for being subscribed. That's all you have to do. Subscribe and accept our messages or watch our videos where we draw for prizes. So this one is a it's a really nice sword. It's uh, signed by some of the American uh, ja staff for Runes of Magic. And then there's the big boy here. I got it on my shoulder because it's so darn heavy. You know, the sucker is 16 pounds. Look at this. So it's a two-handed sword here, man. This is a beautiful sword. And we're giving this away when we hit 42,500 subscribers. It could be you. So, just subscribe, that's all you have to do. We'll do videos, selecting the winners, and we'll send you a message in YouTube as long as you accept it. Just make sure you accept messages from us. To do that, put us on your contact list. And you just add Marky Dragon to your contact list, and then you'll be able to get messages from us, and you'll have 30 days to get back to us when we send you a message, or if we can't message you, You'll just be on video 
and you just gotta watch the video and then contact us. So anyway, if you made it this far, you really should subscribe uh, and I would appreciate it. So anyway.